Hello, everybody. Welcome to our summer circle time. We've been talking all week about the circus, and today we're going to be talking about circus foods. Let me get Sue to come out, and I want to ask her a question. Sue, good morning, by the way. What is your favorite food? Whisper in my ear, and I'll tell our friends. Ooh, Sue says her favorite food is ice cream. So be thinking about what your favorite food is. Well, Sue, if you'd like to, you can take a seat because we're gonna do our letter of the day, which is the letter F, and F is for foods. To make the letter F sound, you have to take your top teeth and put them on your bottom lip and blow like this. F says as in foods. So pretend that you're holding your favorite food. Mm. And what does F say? F says as in foods. F says f well, now that we know what letter F looks like and how it sounds, let's decorate the letter F. To decorate letter F, I just looked in a magazine and I cut out pictures of foods. If you don't have a magazine, just check your mailbox. I bet you might have a sale flower, a sale flyer from the grocery store. You can just cut out some pictures of foods and glue those on to letter F today. Let's see if we can write the letter F. To write the uppercase letter F, you're just going to make a number one like this. And then you're gonna make a line across the top and the middle. That's letter F. Make a one and a line across the top and the middle. Now you can write it on a paper if you'd like to, or you can just simply sky write. Make a number one and then a line across the top and the middle. Now, do you like candy canes? I know I sure do. Raise your hand if you like candy canes. Candy canes are a kind of food. I eat them especially around Christmas time. So the lowercase f looks a lot like a candy cane. So make a candy cane and then a line across the middle. So that's the letter F, uppercase and lowercase. And what does F say? F says as in food. F says well, today we're going to be doing some rhyming. We're going to learn about rhyming words. Rhyming words sound the same at the end of the word. So take a look at this. We're going to be doing some rhyming words. And whatever you see in the picture, we're going to choose what word rhymes with that. Okay, so let's start right here with the first one. This is the picture of a dog. And I want you to see if you can tell me what rhymes with dog. Our choices are, here it comes. Our choices are boat and frog. So what sounds like dog? I'm gonna say both words and then you listen. Dog, boat. Dog, frog. What two words sound the same at the end? Dog and frog. So I'm gonna move the box on top of the frog. Do you see how to play? All right, let's look at the next one. Here's a cat, he's in the circus entrance. So our choices are bat and pen. What sounds like cat? Cat, bat, or cat, pen? Cat, bat, those two words rhyme. Ooh, look at this cake. What sounds like cake? Snake or duck? Cake, snake, good job. Bzz, next is a bee coming to the circus. Does bee sound like bat or tree? Bee, tree, good job. Next, we have a fan. Does fan sound like log or pan? Fan, pan, those rhyme. The next one is a star. Does star sound like car or mouse? Star, car, and you get a star. 
star because you did a great job rhyming. So there's your star sticker. Next, we're going to do some special sounds. I'm going to show you some circus foods. F is for foods. And these are some things that you might see at the circus. But I want to see the foods really clearly. So I'm going to put on my glasses. You can put your glasses on too. Just do your hand like this and this and put them together. Now you're ready to see all the circus foods. If you like the circus foods, you can make this sound. Ooh, okay, so here we go. The first circus food, ooh, is a corn dog. Ooh, can you say, ooh, this corn dog has mustard on it. Cotton candy, ooh, can you make that sound? Let's look at the next circus food. Popcorn, ooh. Ooh, I love popcorn. This is called a funnel cake. It's kind of like a donut and it has white sugar on the top. Ooh, that looks delicious. Now here are some circus peanuts. Ooh, look at this ice cream. Ooh, that even has a circus cookie on the top. That looked delicious. Well, O, O makes the special sound, ooh, just like the sound we made when we looked at the circus foods. So what does O, O say? O, O says, ooh. Now let's read some words with ooh. That's our special sound for today. So I'm going to write an O, O. And we know what O, O says. O, O says, ooh. And I'm going to put a letter in the front, and we're going to try to read these words. All right, first, what letter is this? Do you know? That's letter B. And what does B say? B, 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 B. All right, so let's read this. B, ooh, boo, boo. Did I scare you? All right, let's do the next one. What letter is this? That's the letter C. And what does C say? K, K, K. Let's read. K, ooh, coo. All right, let's do another one. What letter is this? M. And what does M say? Mm, so let's read. Mm, ooh, mm, ooh. Sounds like cows in here. Let's do one more. What letter is this? That's letter T. And what does T say? T, t, t. So read this one all by yourself. You can do it. T. Ooh. Two. You did a great job reading words with the special sound ooh. Good work. Next, we're going to do some math. And today we're talking about circus foods. And one kind of circus food is circus peanuts. We just saw a picture of some circus peanuts. Well, we're going to count some peanuts during math today. This is like a game. So I want you to count the peanuts. And then I want you to point on the screen to the number and I'm gonna drag the square on top of it. All right, this is called a 10 frame. If all the spaces are filled, that means there are 10. But how many peanuts can you see right here? Just one, so point to number one. There it is. Okay, let's do the next one. How many peanuts can you see? Count them. One. Two, three, four, five. So where's number five? Point on your screen. Good job, there's number five. How many peanuts can you see? One, two. So point to number two. There it is. How many peanuts can you see? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So point to number nine. There's number nine. How many peanuts can you see? Three.
three will point to three. How many peanuts? Wow, that's a lot of peanuts. They're all filled up and this is a 10 frame. So that means there are 10 peanuts and you can count them too if you want to. Can you find number 10? There's number 10. How many peanuts can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you point to number six? There's number six. How many peanuts can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Point to number eight. There's number eight. How many peanuts can you see? And where's number four? There it is. Good job. How many peanuts can you see? There are seven peanuts. Can you point to number seven? There's number seven. And that was the last one. You did a great job. Next, we're going to be doing some music and movement. So stand up, get ready to move. So you can dance, you can roll your arms, you can clap, you can pretend to juggle or walk the high rope, the tight rope. And when the music stops though, you need to freeze. That's what we're gonna play for music and movement. F is for freeze, but we're gonna listen to some circus music. So here we go, get up and move. Freezing. Let's do it again. Freeze. Good job. Good job, everybody. Let's listen to some more circus music. Freeze. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Fun and you did a great, great job for music and movement time. And now it's time for art. So will you come back and sit down and then we're gonna look at the art table and make some cotton candy puffy paint. So I'll meet you over there. Okay, so here we are at the art table and we're going to make some cotton candy puffy paint. I'm going to put the link below so that you can get a copy of this cotton candy printable, but it would be very easy just to draw on your own. Just make some puffy lines and a stick on the bottom, but I will put the link so you can get it if you want this one. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some shaving cream into these little bowls. If you don't have shaving cream, you can just decorate your cotton candy with regular paint or markers. Okay, now I'm gonna put some food coloring into the shaving cream. I'm using gel food coloring, but regular food coloring works just great. I don't know if you remember, but when we were looking at the circus foods and we saw the cotton candy and we said, ooh, the cotton candy was pink and light blue. 
So by mixing the red food coloring with the white shaving cream, we're going to get a really pretty pink color. All right, there's our pink. And now let's make some blue. I want this to be light blue. So the blue mixed with the white shaving cream should make a perfect light blue color. This looks a lot like cotton candy for real. Okay, so now, now that I have it all mixed up, I'm just going to put this onto the paper. Some over here, maybe some right there and over here. Okay, now I'm gonna add some pink. Maybe some right there and right here at the top and over here. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm going to swirl this all around. I want to cover all the parts that look like cotton candy on the paper. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so now I'll just let this dry. We made cotton candy puffy paint. And it looks a whole lot like real cotton candy, doesn't it? Okay, that was our art project for today. And now we're going to come over and do story time. Remember we were doing rhyming words earlier? Well, our story today has the rhyming word, Morris and Boris at the circus is the name of it. And Morris and Boris rhyme. This story is by B. Wiseman. Morris and Boris at the circus. I saw a circus, said Boris the bear. Did it see you? asked Morris the moose. No, said Boris. Why? asked Morris. Were you hiding? No, said Boris. I was not hiding. Was the circus sleeping? asked Morris. No, cried Boris. The circus does not sleep. It must get very tired, Morris said. No, shouted Boris. The circus does not get tired. The circus is, oh, never mind. I will show you what the circus is. Boris said, that is the circus tent. It is called the big top. And that is, I know, said Morris. That's the big bottom. No, said Boris. That's an elephant. That is a clown, said Boris. Morris cried. Oh, the poor clown, he must have a cold. His nose is red. No, said Boris, that's not his real nose. He stuck it on. But it makes him look funny, said Morris. Everyone will laugh at him. Clowns want to look funny, said Boris. Look, those are lions and tigers and horses and trained dogs. But where are the moose, Morris asked. There are no moose in the circus, said Boris. Morris cried. Mo should be in the circus. Well, tell the ringmaster, said Boris. He's the man in the big hat. Let's go find him. Ringmaster, said Morris. Mo should be in the circus. Hmm, why not, said the ringmaster. Go into the big top, Moose. Go be in the circus. The ringmaster yelled, here are the great Gambinis. They ride horses bareback. I do not have a horse, said Morris, but I can ride bear back. Not on my back, cried Boris. Go be an animal tamer. Get in the cage with those lions and tigers. Look, said Morris, part of me is in the cage. All of you must go in, Boris shouted. But will all of me come out, asked Morris. Yes, said Boris, if you can make the big cats listen to you. Morris said, listen to me, lions and tigers. Please be good. Please do not bite. No, 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 cried Boris. Look at the animal tamer. Use your tail like a whip. Tell them something to do. Lions and tigers, yelled Morris. Look at my tail. Do something. Oh, come out of that cage, cried Boris. Go try to walk like the trained dogs. Oh, get up, said Boris. Try to bow like the dogs. You mean bow wow, said Morris. No, cried Boris. I do not mean bow wow. I mean bow with no wow. Bend over like the dogs. 
that is how to wow. No, I mean, that is how to bow wow. No, oh, don't wow. Why don't you climb the ladder, Boris shouted. Be a high wire walker. Can I be a low wire walker instead? Asked Morris. Grrr, growled Boris. Okay, I'll be a high wire walker, said Morris. Morris put one hoof on the wire. Put your other hoof on the wire, yelled Boris. No, no, Boris cried. Put both hoofs on it at the same time. <sighs> Calm down, Boris shouted. Just go blow a horn with the seals. Try to make music. Can you make the sound that Morris is making with the horn? <laughs> Did I make music? Morris asked a seal. It sounded more like move sick, said the seal. Come on, said Boris. Try to go be an acrobat. Do you see the seesaw? Asked Boris. You stand on the low end and I'll jump down on the high end. Then you'll fly up into that chair. Oh no, said Morris. That chair is high. Only babies sit in high chairs. Growled Boris. Maybe you can be a clown. Come on, I'll go get you some clown clothes. I'll paint your nose. Why do I have to paint my nose? asked Morris. I told you why, cried Boris. Clowns do not show their real noses. Clowns put on red roses. I mean, clowns do not show their real roses. Clowns put on their real noses. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, just come on. Here, growled Boris, put on these clown clothes. Put on those big shoes. Oh, said Morris, the clown clothes will not fit. I am not fat, but the shoes will fit. Look at my foot. See the big toes? Err, roared Boris, put on the clown clothes. I mean, put on the clown toes. No, no, oh, just get dressed. Now I will paint your nose, said Boris. I'll help you, said Morris. It's a big job. We're done, said Boris. Now go and be a clown. How? asked Morris. Here, said Boris. Take this clown umbrella. Squeeze the bottom. Like this? asked Morris. Arr, roared Boris. I'll get you. And Boris started chasing Morris all around the circus. He chased him up. He chased him down. He chased him over and the round, and the crowd loved it. Moose, said the ringmaster, you are not a good bareback rider, or animal tamer, or trained dog, or acrobat, or high wire walker. You cannot blow a horn and make music, but you are a funny clown. You made everybody laugh. No, cried Morris, not everybody. He didn't make me laugh. <laughs> I think Morris made Boris frustrated, didn't he? He didn't laugh at all. But I think that Morris was pretty funny. Well, today we talked about circus foods. And what's your favorite food? Ooh, that sounds really yummy. We learned that OO makes the sound ooh. We also made some cotton candy puppy paint. So you can do that today for art if you like. We decorated letter F with food and we did rhyming words and counted peanuts. I'll see you next time for our summer circle time. Goodbye.